Hi there! Welcome back to Go Needs a Channel. Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi, the two most mentioned names in the world football in the 21st century, they have always competed fiercely, from on-field performances to the number of goals or individual titles scored over the last 10 years. Not only this, but the two football superstars are also fiercely competitive in terms of commercial and worldwide popularity. Plus. The huge salary they receive helps them become influential figures all over the world. But who is richer? Let's find out in this video. First, let's see how much they earn from football. So, round one, on-field earnings. As football players, their primary source of income is the salary they receive at the end of each season. Now, let's come first with Cristiano Ronaldo. The Portuguese football superstar is expected to earn $60 million in 2022. During the 2020-21 season, he earned $630,000 per week in Manchester United, making him the highest paid player in the English Premier League. Despite the fact that his salary for the season has been reduced by 25% due to United's failure to qualify for the Champions League, he will still be the league's second highest earner, trailing Manchester City midfielder Kevin De Bruyne. However, this figure is not as much as Lionel Messi's. His annual salary at Paris Saint-Germain is up to $75 million, more than any other athlete on the planet, and of course, more than CR7. Messi is reportedly paid $35 million per year, which equates to $738,000 per week, or $105,000 per day. According to the Evening Standard, the Argentine received a $25 million signing bonus when he joined the French team last year. It was also reported that Messi was willing to accept a 50% pay cut to stay at Barcelona, but the Catalans couldn't afford him even at half his salary and were unable to retain their greatest ever player. So, for the on-field earnings, Messi wins! Next, Round 2 – Off-Field Earnings Both of them make money in a lot of ways. Ronaldo Cristiano has a lot of clout when it comes to securing lucrative sponsorship deals because he is the most followed person on Instagram with 484 million followers. According to a social media analytics firm, a single social media post from his account could be worth up to $1.6 million due to his impressive reach. In addition to his $1 billion lifetime contract with Nike, the Portuguese icon has lucrative deals with Herbalife, Tag Heuer, Clear Shampoo, EA Sports, PokerStars, Castrol, Egyptian Steel, and Armani. In addition to endorsement deals, Ronaldo also built his own brand CR7 by himself. That is a lingerie company for adults and children, a jeans company, CR7 Denim, and a joint venture with Denali to make CR7 Blanket. He also collaborated with a British perfume manufacturer and gave birth to Eden Perfume Cristiano Ronaldo Fragrance. Moreover, Ronaldo signed a deal with Crunch Franchise in 2016 to open CR7 Crunch Fitness. Next, Ronaldo owns 50% of Inspire Your Hair Clinic shares and appointed his girlfriend, Georgina Rodriguez, as the executor. Inspire focuses on hair transplantation and has several branches in Portugal. The group owns 10 clinics in Portugal and have made roughly 35,000 transplants. Their treatments typically last around 6 hours and cost between 4,000 euros to 7,000 euros. Not over a year, the football superstar also has two hotels in Portugal, one in Madeira and another in Lisbon. Despite coming over his career peak, Ronaldo still makes a lot of money, so it's understandable that his net worth is estimated at $1 billion as of 2022. And as for Messi, the figure of his off-field earnings is also the same with Ronaldo, reaching tens of millions of dollars over the last year. His endorsement portfolio includes deals with Adidas, Budweiser, and PepsiCo, in addition to a $20 million per year partnership with cryptocurrency fan token platform Socios. He also became Hard Rock International's first athlete brand ambassador in June 2021. Although Messi doesn't open up about his other kinds of businesses, the amount of money he gets from his endorsement deals alone is worth to compare with CR7s. As of 2022, Messi has earned $1.15 billion during his career on and off the field, according to Forbes. Only three currently active athletes have ever earned more, LeBron James, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Tiger Woods. So for this round, one point for each. Okay, we've just gone through the way they build their fortune. 
Now let's see how they enjoy their life with Level of Wealth. So first, Car Collection. With a lot of money, CR7 spends its fortune in numerous ways, including collecting supercars. Ronaldo owns more than 20 luxury cars, worth approximately $24 million, which is more than his rival Lionel Messi's collection. Among the highlights of the collection are Mercedes G-Wagon Brabus, five Ferraris, and an ultra-rare McLaren Senna. His favorite car is a Rolls-Royce Cullinan, which he purchased in 2019 for $360,000, while his most expensive car in the collection is a Bugatti Cento DSC, which he purchased for $12 million on his 36th birthday. This car can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.4 seconds and has a top speed of 236 miles per hour. More to say, his $2.4 million Bugatti Veyron made headlines recently after his bodyguard crashed the car into a brick wall while the United Forward and his family were on vacation in Majorca. The driver was unharmed, but the fronts of the 1200 horsepower supercar suffered significant damage. Like Ronaldo, Messi has also been collecting a lot of fancy cars. His impressive car collection includes more than 10 fancy cars, which is worth over $3 million. His car collection has a $2 million Pagandi Zonda Tricolor, a Ferrari F430 Spider, a Dodge Charger SRT8, and a Maserati Gran Turismo. Besides, the Argentine is rumored to have bought the most expensive car ever, a 1957 Ferrari 335 Sport Spider Scaglietti, for $37 million in 2016. He appeared to deny the speculation. However, by way of an Instagram post in which he shared a photo of himself holding up a toy car with the caption, My New Car. Houses and Real Estate Ronaldo is the proud owner of many valuable properties across the country and overseas. Notably, his $9.7 million seven-story mansion in his native Madeira is the place where he and his small family are living. It is a seven-story apartment with an incredible sea view, as well as its amenities. Besides, there are two gyms, a swimming pool on the rooftop, a five-car garage, and even a small football pitch where he practices with Cristiano Jr. Apart from the space he's living with family, CR7 also splashes money on real estate, such as the house he bought in 2003, which was worth $3.5 million. The home in Alderley Edge, Cheshire, has five large bedrooms, two dressing rooms with an in-suite bathroom, a large garden, and charming terraces. The property also has an indoor pool, a steam room, a jacuzzi, a gym, and a cinema room. Plus, CR7 also owns a large pad in Madrid's affluent La Finca neighborhood, which was worth $5 million at the time of purchase. The pad has both an indoor and outdoor swimming pool, which Ronaldo used to regularly exercise in. The house also has a cutting-edge gym with treadmills, a weight section, and a stretching zone. Outside, the large plot includes a football pitch, an outdoor swimming pool, and a relaxation area with sun loungers and chairs. Besides these properties, he also owns the most valuable apartment in Lisbon, which is valued at $7.3 million and a $1.6 million Via Via in Marbella. Strong investing in the living space is really necessary, especially when we have kids, and Messi sees that. His home remains one of the most prestigious properties in the world. It is located 26 kilometers outside of Barcelona in the exclusive no-fly zone suburb of Castel Defels, with views of the Catalan Mountains and the nearby beach. The property, according to Architectural Digest, includes a football pitch, pool, indoor gym, playground, theater, and spa. They estimated its value to be around $7 million in 2018. Besides, Messi also owns an eco-house themed around his career, a mansion in his hometown of Rosario, Argentina, and the entire floor of a luxury condominium in St. Isles Beach, Florida, which he paid $7.3 million for in 2021. As for the real estate, since 2017, Messi has owned the hotel chain in MIM Hotels, operated by Majestic Hotel Group, which has resorts in Ibiza, Majorca, and Barcelona. In 2021, the chain opened its first winter resort in the heart of the Pyrenees, in the Aran Valley. According to Forbes, the four-star hotel has 141 rooms and includes a spa, an indoor swimming pool, a fitness center, and mountain guide services. Private Jet Ronaldo's Gulfstream G200 has served him well with the striker often jetting off on holiday around Europe with partner Georgina Rodriguez and kids. The striker also uses the aircraft to fly back and forth to Portugal regularly thanks to its top speed of 560 miles per hour. It has a price tag of $6 million, and Gulfstream 5 is the one owned by Messi. He purchased for $15 million in 2014. 
The plane is recognized by the number 10 on its tail and the names of his wife Antonella and their children, Tiago, Cito, and Mateo on the steps. According to Soccer Gator, the luxury jet has two kitchens and bathrooms and can seat up to 16 people. Watch Collection When it comes to appearance, Ronaldo always appears in high-end clothes from famous fashion houses in the world. But the one thing he always wears is watch. Ronaldo is a big fan of the watch brand Rolex, one of the most luxurious watch brands in the world. He has been seen wearing a lot of different models of Rolex watch, and which includes the classic steel Rolex Daytona with a black dial, a yellow gold Rolex Daytona with mother of pearl dial, and diamond indices, which was sold for between $500,000 and $750,000. Besides the Daytona, CR7 has also been spotted wearing perhaps the most iced out factory Rolex in existence, the Rolex GMT Master II. This white gold GMT Master is set with 30 carats of cut factory diamonds on the dial, case, bezel, and bracelet. This is the most expensive watch ever made by Rolex at the retail price of $485,000 when it was first released. In addition to Rolex, Ronaldo also owns a couple Hublot watches, such as Hublot Titanium Hublot Spirit of Big Bang in blue, which was sold for $23,000, and the Hublot Masterpiece MP09 Turbulent Bi-Axis King Gold, which is said to cost him around $1 million. Apart from these brands, Ronaldo also has collected some watches from other brands, such as the Bulgari Octo, the Cartier Santos, Jacob & Co., and Frank Mueller. Like CR7, Messi is also into wearing luxurious watches. As we know, Messi has a rose gold Rolex Yacht Master, a Rolex Daytona, a Rolex Oyster Perpetual, a two-tone Rolex Datejust, and a Rolex Submariner Ref 116659SABR, which is the most expensive watch in his collection. This piece retails for $92,000, but is currently available on the secondary market for just under $200,000. Besides Rolex, Messi is also often seen wearing watches from other famous brands, such as Audemars Piguet, Jacob & Co, and Patek Philippe. Private Yacht Ronaldo's yacht is the Azimut Grande 27 Metri, an exclusive yacht that he purchased for $6 million in 2020. It has five luxurious cabins and six exquisitely decorated bathrooms. There is also a modern kitchen, two relaxation areas, a large lounge, and a lavish dining room on board. The Portugal Football International even has an exercise bike on hand to ensure he stays in shape. And for Messi, he prefers to rent a yacht rather than purchasing it. Well, to sum up, neither Ronaldo nor Messi had the best of campaigns, for their respective clubs didn't have a big impact on their overall earnings. However, the figures could go down this year or the next one if the footballing superstar's careers continue on the downward spiral. As far as the past one year is concerned, this is how much they had earned. Cristiano Ronaldo. Total earnings, $115 million. On-field earnings, $60 million. Off-field earnings, $55 million. Lionel Messi. Total earnings, $130 million. On-field earnings, $75 million. Off-field earnings, $55 million. It's clearly visible that Messi and Ronaldo have similar off-field earnings. However, it's the on-field earnings where Messi usurps Ronaldo. And that's all for the video today. Thanks for your watching and be sure to support us with a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Goodbye and see you in the next video.